Hey guys, it's Tom here with Hilltop Machine Works. Back in the shop for a, another quick little project. Be a, a down and dirty. So what I, I've got you over here at the Monarch lathe. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this Monarch up in the air. Because if you uh, notice, uh, I'm six feet tall. And let me turn you a little bit. See how low the bed sits? So I got, I'm way down here to work stuff. I like to be up here, a little more comfortable, especially for extended lengths of time. So what the plan is, is we're gonna get this thing up in the air. So I got you looking down here at the base of the Monarch. So the plan is, is to get these feet up in the air. So, um, I got a piece of probably 1018, three inches round, and what we'll do is cut like three inch sections out of them. And I'll probably mill a little center section so it'll center on these uh, bolts here. Picked up a toe jack, if you watched my um, mail call. And what we'll do is we'll slide the toe jack up underneath this thing, we'll jack it up, and we'll get these three inch pucks up underneath the base of this thing on this pedestal and the other pedestal get it up in the air a little bit better and uh, it'll be a little more comfortable to run so let's get over to the bandsaw all right i got you over here at the bandsaw so basically there's that big piece of stock i picked up and i'm just going to hack off uh, i think i'm going to do three inches and a and a quarter that'll give me a little bit of uh extra for face cleanup if I need it so let me get to cutting these things no need to watch me bandsaw eight three and quarter inch pucks so anyways we'll get this rolling and once I get them all cut out I'll uh, bring you guys back Got the supervisor in the shop today. He's hanging out making sure I get these saw cuts just right. Well, we're getting there, about halfway done. Just kind of uh, watching the wheels and the bandsaw go around and around. <laughs> Well, we are in a new year. Happy 2018, everybody. It's like January 2nd. Just got a chance to get back in the shop after the holidays. And um, it is like uh, 18 degrees out right now, and it's going to be a low of 10 degrees. So we've had uh, quite a bit of a cold snap come through. So I hadn't gotten in the shop, plus the holidays. So anyways, what you're looking at, I did get them all cut, and... Those are the sizes there, three inches, and the thou's written on it. Getting ready to uh, throw her in the Inco, and hopefully I can get some good shots. I picked up this new uh, telescoping arm, so that way I can kind of get you in, hopefully some good shots, instead of sometimes you're in the way and i got to move you around. So I think the plan is going to be to put them in and face them get them totally flat these measurements here were the uh, the smallest of them because the saw cuts aren't perfectly um, perpendicular and then once I get that and I want you to figure out the smallest diameter which obviously is going to be this one um, whatever this final dimension ends up being then we'll make them all that so that way they'll all be the same height and then if you can see let me get some light down there 
The screws, which are uh, basically the adjustable feet, they're three quarters. So I think the plan will be to take them over to the mill and we'll mill out a, uh, a center section here with uh, an end mill probably. I don't know, whatever I got larger than three quarters. So it'll be a good hole for it to sit down in. And then um, once that's done, we'll get it over to the lathe and get it jacked up and get these underneath it. So let me get the Enco set up and um, we'll get to uh, machining. All right, let's give it a shot here. Uh, since I got the four jaw on the big Monarch, Figured it'd be easier to do it here on the, with the three jaw. That way I can put them in and out because I don't feel like trying to indicate eight of these little slugs. So that's why you're over here. hand feeding. swap around measure and see what our final dimension is going to be on all these since this was the shortest one. This was the big one. It was the end piece, so I left it large because I knew there's going to be some extra cleanup on her. Uh, 
I am going to rinse and repeat on all these. I'll bring you back once I get them knocked out. The heater just kicked on. That's what you hear in the background. This should be the final dimension for this one. Give you a little side action here. measure it and then we'll know the the final we got to take out move you over here hopefully you can see these are the completed ones over here and all I'm doing is just measuring it with a caliper here so I've been then a couple thou pretty close all I need 273 to roughly 270. 270. Alright, so shooting for all, I'm at 262. So I'm going to take another 8 off of this, and this one will be done. And when I said one more slug, and we'll head over to the mill. Alrighty, well, we've got them all done, knocked out. It is uh, 8 o'clock, I'm hungry, I know the wife is hungry, and we got some fat burgers to cook tonight, so we are going to uh, wrap it up for tonight, and I'll probably come in the shop tomorrow, and we'll finish these up. Like I said, we'll take a end mill, drill out the center, so the uh, 3 quarter inch adjustable feet on the Monarch will have a place to sit and um, throw some paint on these and we'll be done. So anyways, we'll uh, catch you guys tomorrow. Hey everybody, it's Tom here. We are back in the shop. Um, you are looking through the new Hero 4 Silver Edition. So hopefully this uh, video is going to be a tad bit better than the Hero 3 Black Edition I was using. 
Not sure about the audio. I am not going to use that sermonic mic anymore because it really sucked and it gave me a bunch of uh, issues. So here we go. Uh, we are back at the mill. It is time to uh, mill out those centering holes. So the plan is I am going to use that half inch end mill. I'm just going to run her down 100 thou and we'll hit, we'll hit all of them. And then we'll come back and then I've got uh, a, it's close to a one inch, it's a regrind. Um, a buddy of mine gave me a bunch of these, so hey, big fat uh, end mills that are free are always good. So then we'll come back and then we'll just plunge that down to a hundred thou, because even though it kind of looks like it will uh, center cut, I'm not 100% sure, so don't want to make it work if I don't have to. Um, got it set up in the vise with this V-block. This is just a simple hunk of aluminum I just made a V-block out of. Simple project. I've got it registered here for repeatability so I can just bang them out. So we'll do a couple on camera and then I'll knock the rest of them off camera. Get the big end mill in and then uh, cut a couple on camera. And then all the uh, machining operations will be done on this. rinse and repeat seven more all right all the uh, <clears throat> feet have been uh, milled out with the half inch so uh, time to go in with this uh, one inch regrind or just under one inch I did one hole already and uh, I don't think the regrind is perfect she wants to uh, chatter like a big dog no matter what the feed and speed is so um, I'll let you watch one, but it, uh, like I said, it sounds like, uh, uh, it doesn't like it. But anyways, turn your audio down just a hair if you need to, because she's going to chatter. But it is what it is.
right, there she is. Let me uh, bang out the rest. Show you what I'm doing, I'm just pulling it out. Sliding a new one in. Uh, got all these wrapped up as you can see um, I imagine some people are gonna ask why I just didn't you know drill them with like a one inch drill bit I mean the only problem is I wanted a flat bottom so the studs would would sit well I didn't want to have a uh, obviously a concave uh, bottom if I drilled it so that's why I, uh, I did what I did. So I think it will center better that way. Just because if that stud goes in and it's concave, it's gonna try to fight it and try to go into the, obviously, the lowest point. So that way, I mean, if you got the heavy machine, she's gonna to try to wanna to almost lift if she can't slide down in it. So anyways, they are all the same depth now. I am happy. Um, I was just gonna slap them under the lathe, but I figure what the heck we'll throw some paint on them can't hurt right so I'm gonna get them all cleaned up and um, see what I got in the old paint cabinet and we'll get some color on them so uh, let me uh, get set up and we'll spray these babies I got some dark hunter green found that in the cabinet so I'll give it a shot. Well, you get the idea. I don't think you want to wash my paint. Alrighty, I got you down here on the ground. So, it's the next day, the paint is dry. Got my toe jack here. Hopefully I'm in frame. I guess we can slide over. So, see if we can lift this big boy up. It is uh, about 35 degrees out. We got the heaters on. The big torpedo heater just kicked off. So, it'll probably kick back on here in a little bit. You'll probably hear that. Uh, I have to go up a smidge more over here. Yep. All right, no problem. Get my thing out the way. So we'll see how we do. Ah. 
Bottom out. Of course, we're gonna be close. Yeah, there we are. We are in. Let me get the back done. Alrighty, over down here at the tailstock side. Feet are underneath. Let's bring this baby down. Alright. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. I like it. Now, let's go uh, see how level this thing is. So I'm not sure if you can see the, the bubble or not, but we are a tad bit low on this side, so she needs to come up a little bit. There she is. And then bring her over here. Wow, well, she's not too bad that way. Geez, she's really almost on the money this way if you can see it I mean uh, just a smidge in one line but that's that's hardly any adjustment alrighty so let me go get some wrenches alright I just been adjusting the uh, the feet here <clears throat> I mean it's a pretty simple procedure just loosen up the, the bottom bolt and turn the top one what I did is I marked the bolts so that way I could keep track of them and I'd take a uh, even increments of movement front and back on them so oh drop my light there ah, my new snap-on light look at that it didn't break that's quality for you if that was harbor freight it would have smashed but anyways let's see if we can get you over here hopefully you can see add some extra light so as you can see we are on the money Side to side. And then front to back. Hopefully it'll, it'll level out. Stop moving. I mean, we are just, just a smidgen. But otherwise, uh, I think we're good. So there she sits. She looks good with some feet underneath her. And the height now is a lot better for me. Because now you can see I'm standing here at the controls instead of down here. So a little bit better. So all in all, um, I think it's going to be a, a quick, nice, easy fix for me. So just a little down and dirty, making the lathe more friendly. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Hit the uh, like button and leave comments always. I try to answer them all. And we'll catch you on the next one, alright?